The Genius feature in iTunes will use a single song to generate a playlist of songs that go well with it. You can activate or deactivate Genius from the File menu and Library. Genius is updated by iTunes every week, but you can also do it manually here. Genius can be used in a few different ways. First, we can start Genius Shuffle. What Genius Shuffle does is select a random song, and from that, selects more songs from your library that go well with it. To start Genius Shuffle, hold the Option key and click the Back button, which turns into a Genius button. That's going to start a new song, and in the Up Next list, we can see what songs were selected to go along with this first one. For a less random selection, you can create a Genius playlist from a song. To do that, start playing a song, then go to the File menu, New, and Genius Playlist. This list is saved as a new playlist with the current song's title. You can't add songs manually to a Genius playlist, but you can remove them. They can also be added to Up Next, just like any other playlist. Click the Refresh button that appears for a Genius playlist to have Genius rethink the list. This is best to do after new songs or albums have been added to your library. Use the Triple Dots button to display Genius suggestions for a song. Select a suggested song to be in playing it, or all the suggestions could be saved as a playlist. Lastly, we can play Genius Mixes, which exist here at the top of your playlist. I only have one Genius Mix available, because this is a very small music library. Most likely, you'll have several of these. Click on a Genius Mix to begin listening. View the songs in the list from up next. Genius can be a great way to find new songs that you like or rediscover songs in your library that you might not have listened to in a while.